Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dolphin. Today, guys, we're going to read about Summoner's World. Today, we're going to talk about Camilla, the Water Valkyrie. She just got buff. Well, she got buff in the last balance patch, um, and we're going to talk about her. I would like to see if she's actually still good for normal RTA. We know in Special League she actually popped off, but LDs were not a thing in the Special League. So I just wanted to to check if uh, she's good in RTA. I've used her in RTA. Um, I'm gonna show you the roots, of course, as always. I'm gonna show you some highlights from RTA uh, from the past weeks and see if she actually is worth using. Um, but yeah, before we get to that, guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free and support the channel a whole lot, guys. So if you can, please hit the button. It will really, really help. Uh, I have highlights from RTA. As I said, I couldn't record the, the stream, though. So we don't have highlights from the stream, but we're gonna have a look at her. I don't use her much in PvE, although I do have her build somewhere. Um, I think she's okay for arena defense. She's pretty good for arena defense and she's pretty good for siege offense as well. Um, there you go. She's not max skill. I will be fusing um, I will be fusing uh, Valkyries to skill her up. I'm uh, kind of free to play, so I don't have that ones to give her. But yeah, she's at this for um, PvE. I'm gonna show you my RTA Camilla. We're going pretty high. We haven't got G1 yet, but we're top 400, which is pretty good. And my Camilla for RTA is like this. It's a lot better than the one for PvE. Um, violent blade guys I don't think you need anything else uh, than other than violence for Camilla yes nemesis is nice but she get decreased damage here anyway so the nemesis is not gonna activate as normal it's gonna be reduced nemesis let's say uh, will you don't need you, you don't really need anything in particular for her it might go focus even for the freeze uh, but overall, I think even broken is fine. Blade is okay, it's good though, because then you can get as much crit rate as possible. And then also, Blade usually is not that used in RTA, so you can give her some decently fast uh, Blade runes. So she's Blade, Violent, Speed, Crit Damage. This rune could be better, uh, but I'm still testing her. We'll see how it goes and HP. Artifacts are speed proportional, in mostly speed proportional, that's what I focus on. Crit damage lines are good, life drain you don't need, but the speed proportion here was pretty decent, so I went for that, and damage taken from wind is good, but again, the passive already helps that. You don't really need anything in particular. Try to get some uh, some uh, accuracy, because skill to freeze and slows. Also, try to skill her up, because uh, it's on a two turn, so if you proc, you're always gonna have it. Pretty, pretty important. This is uh, just extra damage, which is also pretty important if you're using her. Now, she's really good. She works really well against some of the very annoying units. I've seen Camilla actually critting on my wind units, freezing my wind units, but um, she's really good against more because she can freeze and slow him. So even yes, if, she, if he has the passive, if you slow him, your Camilla should move before the more, and uh, that's important. That's why it's important to have pretty good speed on her. Uh, she can be really good against Miles. It's a bit of a back and forth with Miles because Miles obviously can do damage on Camilla, pretty good damage on Camilla. She still get decreased damage even from non crit now, so it's gonna take less damage from Miles anyway. Uh, but it's a bit of back and forth because my usually is non crit so it can stun Camilla but overall Camilla can actually freeze slow the mile and if he's slow even if he procked out um, he's gonna do less damage if he doesn't she's gonna lap him she can do skill one and also if she procs she can freeze him again so against Verde Hill pretty good because she can freeze him and if he's a triple revenge word usually they're not that fast so he, she can actually lock the Verde Hill down. Um, she's pretty good against uh, other units as well, obviously, critting units or multi-hit units. She's pretty good because then they're gonna crit on her and she's gonna cleanse any kind of debuff they put on her. Uh, she has self-heal or she can heal 
sorry, she has self heal and she heals that ally with the lowest amount of HP by 10% every turn. So she procs 20% heal, passive heal, that's not bad at all. So she has pretty good damage if you build her on crit damage. And honestly, you should just build her on crit damage anyway. Uh, so she has pretty good damage. She has a freeze slow on skill two on a two turn cooldown. And the freeze is one turn, but the slow is two turn. And also she has a chance to reset by one turn 20% uh, chance on skill 1 and skill 3 the passive is actually really good because decrease attack sorry decrease the damage of non critical attack by 20% and decrease the damage of critical attack by 50% by half it's a lot a lot less damage additional recover your hp by 10% as we said she heals herself by 10% uh, of hp and heal that ally with the lowest amount of HP by 10% as well. That's pretty good. And Krieger raids leader skill, just in case you don't have anything else, just pick it, uh, helps her creating, helps other units creating and do more damage anyway. Really good unit, I think Violent is the better option. You just should just go Violent for her. Um, really, really good unit. I think obviously as the LDs came out, she is a bit worse than she was in Special League, but definitely worth building her. Um, she just brings a lot to the table and the passive heal can be really annoying, especially when she procs 20% heal passively. That's big, that's really big. And also she procs, she always has this. Let's say you skill two, proc into skill one, next turn you have skill two again. Skill two, you don't proc, next turn you proc, you have skill two again. So pretty pretty good uh, i would say if you have her it's worth building her and also it's worth skilling her up i would say if you are free to play try to fuse some valkyries if not definitely um you you can give her devil not trans <laughs> not transmogs uh so yeah you can fuse the wind valkyrie and then i have a few units in progress but i don't have the full skill up yet and uh, we're gonna skill her up very very soon i'm pretty happy with her i'm not gonna take the runes off yet i do pick her every now and again and uh, she is pretty good against a lot of units uh, against a lot of uh, cc units especially if they have uh, multi-hit chompang is still gonna decrease her attack bar but even if you reset her is a two-turn cooldown skill so she's gonna get that back as soon as she procs uh, against more Again, against Moore is a bit of back and forth. I think Camilla against Moore 1v1, she always wins, or almost always. Uh, as long as she freezes him or slow him, she is gonna be on a good spot. Um, but against a lot of other units, she's actually really, really good. Um, I was thinking about some, oh, Antares. She takes care of Antares as well, pretty well. A lot of units, or even more long, is not gonna do 70% because she has 20% less damage from non critical hit. So he's not gonna be able to kill her if she's 70% HP. Pretty good as well, really good unit, actually worth still having her build. Uh, guys, I think that's it for the video. If you have any questions, as always, ask in the comment below. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye, everybody. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye.